once again you all are welcome to this channel so today i am going to tell you that how to draw a plan of a building means before going to tell you that how to draw a building plan so i am going to tell you some tips while you are drawing your any kind of building plan so for this you need to watch this tutorial completely so let's start this tutorial so as you can see this is my building plan right so i hope you all are liking this this building pl plan is quite looks better because it is properly hatched and it has some furniture which i have been placed it here right so and this is the plot this plan plot size is 45 into 45 feet means square feet right this units are in square feet so before going to draw any kind of building I'm going to tell you some tips. So the tips number one is that you need to go for unit setup. So just go for your keyboard, write U and from your keyboard, if you write this U and see, you can see this units. Just go and click it here. Most of the walks will be in feet and inches. So, so just you can see here is the length it's must be in architectural just for feet and inches so just go for the architectural as i have already did it so here it should be inches just go for okay so now whatever the line you are drawing in this in this area in this autocad it will becomes in feet and inches so suppose if you want to draw this line of one feet just go for this skip it so you can see this is the line of one feet right so i have set up the unit so unit setup is not a big deal but after unit setup you need to do some dim style just go for d enter you can see dim style is here just go for click of it now what you need to do just go for the modify panel just go and click it here after that like this type of panel will open now what you need to do so according to your according to your ucs you arrange your autocad page setup right so now here for me it is go for the text so before going to text you can set up this primary units so you need to pay attention on this your primary unit should be in architectural because you have already set up your unit as architectural because your walk will be in feet and inches right so this should be in architectural right so after this just go for the text text should be 10 inches for me for you it might be 11 or 12 inches so go and check it once so what is the text text means you can see you can see hall bath plus toilet this is my text so this the text height is 10 inches for me so what is the suitable for you you do you do your own which will be better for you yourself right so now go for the symbols and arrows i hope you know about the symbols and arrow let me tell you that once i'm going to cut it now you can see here this is your arrow this is the symbols of arrow you can see i'm going to tell you about this size so again go for d enter for dim style just go for the modify i have done with my these all primary units text and symbol as arrow so just go for this i have made it as a six inches so generally the text height is always higher than this arrow size so if you have done of all of these now go for okay after this do not close it just go for set current now it has been set now go for close now the things this this page has been this autocad page has been set up in feet and inches whatever you draw this will always comes in feet and inches now the things i need to tell you that after that what you need to do if you are going to draw any kind of building plan in a proper way you need to go for control zero from your keyboard you can see your ribbon is high right now it is very good for you while you are working on autocad page see everything looks quite bigger right so if you are going if you are doing this type of means tips that will be really helpful for you while you are drafting any kind of building plan now i hope you have understand these two tips 
one tip is for unit setup dim style setup second one is now third one is whatever the plan you draw but the main thing is that you need to set up your bedroom your dining kitchen your stairs your toilet bathroom all should be in according to vastu shastra so do not go accept of this because engineer also obey that this everything comes under the vastu so this plan is completely based on the vastu because i am going to tell you some vastu tips also here so as you can see this plan is this is my this is my south this is my north this is my east and this is my west right so so this is my entrance entrance is in my north right from north and this is my east so always keep your kitchen room south and east sorry this is not entrance is my south direction not the north direction so always keep your kitchen in the corner of south and east always the first priority will goes on kitchen will be south and east corner and always keep your kitchen beside of your kitchen keep your dining that will be very helpful for you now after that i need to tell you about the stair always keep your stairs in south south direction you can see this is my south this is my south direction you can see after that always keep your bathroom and toilet should always be in west corner so this is my west wall so i have attached with this now comes to the bed bed should always always towards the south direction so you can see it is although it is in it is in north but its facing should always follow the south direction and this is my living area so living area is the, is in the center that is very good for us and this is the very good for you i hope you all have liked this tutorial for your better drawing skills and one more thing i need to tell you that if you want to reappear your ribbon that ribbon i have been disappeared by clicking this control zero so see if you press it again it will comes again but if it is not coming by by pressing the control and zero just go for right r i p b o n ribbon from your keyboard and just go and click it it will already means it has been already appeared so it won't so i am going to check it out just go for r i b b o n right just go and click it see it appears right so i hope this plan will really helps you if you want to have this type of plan for practicing you can get it by commenting me i will attach in my description box and i have uploaded a lot of tutorials regarding autocad you can go and check it from description box as well as from playlist i have been uploaded and these tutorials were really helpful for you and they will develop your autocad skills not only the autocad skills as well as your drawing building plans elevation sections not only these three but also columns layouts so if you want many more from me if you want to know lot of things from me just go to my comment and uh, comment me i will walk i will study and i will i will definitely i will work hard to tell you each and everything regarding architectural engineering as well as civil engineering i hope you all have like this tutorial and thanks for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for getting more updates